Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, July 1st. Can't believe it's July already. Um, welcome back to another weekly, or not weekly, but <laughs> day in the life. Um, yeah, I don't know why my brain is blanking today. Hopefully this gets better, but so sorry that I missed you guys last week. It's just honestly been kind of crazy with our move. Um, so if you have not been following along with like other stuff on my channel, we did recently sell our old home, bought a new home, and we're settling in now. We officially moved in like almost a week ago. Yeah, a week ago tomorrow. Um, so yeah, anyway, I am printing things now. I also have the graph tech going. I'm currently working on September's kits and more specifically, I'm working on eight and a half by 11 budget kits for September. I'm hoping to finish up all the budget kits today, including the petite or A5 stickers and then like the complete kits and things like that. And I need to start working on the like actual kits for the month, like the planning kits. But I figured I would pop in and let you guys know what's going on before we get into it. So I made my coffee. I um, got started right away making coffee, getting stuff printed. <clears throat> Last night I went ahead and designed a bunch of stuff because right now what I'm doing is I am switching over all the budget kits to the graph tech. So up until this point, all of the budget kits were being cut on the silhouettes. I'm trying to get away from that just because one time savings, like it's so much easier putting them on the graph tech and then I can do other things. And two, quality. I've just noticed the silhouettes are giving me such bad quality. And I don't know if it is just how old they are um, or if it's just like compared to the graph tech machines, they're just not as consistent. I don't know, but regardless, I'm moving everything over. So it just takes a lot of time the first time that you move something over because you have to set up all the files. But once like I go to cut October's kits, it's gonna be so much easier. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. So today the game plan is, again, my focus is on September kits. That is like priority one because I feel like even with the schedule that I put together for myself, it's gonna be tight. Like I'm going to have to like really push, push, push to cut things and get things going. So my main concern is that. Um, I do have my planner here. It's getting very bulky and this goes until the end of December. So we'll see how that goes. I did not put together a game plan for today. So I need to go ahead and do that really quick, but I'm going to mark the stuff that I did yesterday. So I edited, I did not work on customs and I did September kits. I keep all of my stuff in the back of my planner, which also bulks up my planner, but it works the best because then I just have to carry my planner around. So yeah, anyway, that's kind of the game plan for today. We are going to be leaving for my brother-in-law's house tomorrow morning pretty early. And it's a bummer because our refrigerator, I think, is broken. It's a brand new refrigerator. I don't know how it could possibly be broken, but I have to call ABT. I think that's the company. That's the company that the um, previous seller used when he purchased all the new appliances. So I need to call them in about 30 minutes and just like see if someone can come out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that goes well. Um, yeah, so that's a little update on what's going on here. I will probably work on orders if like things are going smoothly with the graph tech and everything like that. I'll probably work on orders as I'm doing other stuff just to get you know, some orders out today. But yeah, that is the game plan there. Um, really quickly, I want to talk a little bit about the new house because if you don't watch my other videos, you probably don't know much about it. So we purchased this home. It's completely renovated, which is so nice. Um, it's about the same size as our old house. I would say it feels a lot bigger because there's more of an open concept and they like really did a good job with like making the ceilings taller, um, the colors they used in the house and like the amount of windows they have. It just feels so much bigger. The spaces that matter are bigger. So like we have a really nice kitchen. The living room is a lot bigger. It seems the bathroom upstairs is really nice and big. It's perfect for like giving the girls baths and things like that. I know I mentioned in a couple of videos that like the house is not much bigger, but it 
feel so much bigger. Even Jason's mom came through and saw the house and was like, it just feels so big. Like it feels so much bigger than your other house. And it, the funny thing is it's not, but it feels like that. So it's been really nice. We've been unpacking and just organizing. Um, we have a lot more functional space right now. So like the bathrooms, we have a lot of storage in it. So we can have like the girls toothbrushes and all the stuff that goes along with like brushing teeth in their separate drawers, which is really nice. Jason gets his separate drawers. We have storage for like towels and extra toilet paper. All that stuff I feel like <clears throat> is also like very like basic like for a lot of people but for us we never really had that. Like we just didn't have much space or storage in the other house. And so like the smallest things I'm like oh my gosh I love that like we can put all of Macy's teeth brushing stuff in her own little like drawer. And when she's going to brush her teeth, she can just go to the drawer, pick all the stuff she out, she needs out. Um, again, same thing with like towels. It's so nice being able to like store towels in the bathroom and like have, you know, a place to just grab them when you're giving the girls a bath. Same thing for me. I'm using the basement bathroom because there's a full bathroom in the basement. And I kind of want my own space to be honest. I feel like it also helps with the fact that like there's only one bathroom on the main floor. So my stuff is in the basement and it's so nice because I have like everything set up and I don't have to worry about like the kids getting into my makeup or um, you know all of that stuff. It's just really really nice. So we have been loving it. It has been great so far. I feel like there's still some work that we need to do. We um, haven't picked out a kitchen table yet, so we don't have a kitchen table at all. We've just been eating on like a little bench that we have in the living room. And then we need to like organize the kids' toy stuff. We need to like, mount our TV. Like there's a lot of little things, but in terms of big stuff, like in terms of unpacking, everything is unpacked. It's just more of, of like organizing and like maybe getting some new furniture and stuff like that. But it has been going so good. It's just been a lot lately because I feel like I've been really busy with work, trying to like maintain the shop on my own. And then also like, you know, I'm also really excited about the new house. I really want to make it our own and like, you know, just get it like done. And I feel like those thing, those two things like work and home, like you really focusing on home you could only do one or the other a lot of times. So I'm trying to do both and it's just kind of hard, but it's in a good, it's a good hard. Like I'm excited to be at work. I love being at work. I love doing what I do and I love being at home because I feel like the home just works so much better for us. So thank you guys all for your well wishes. I know a lot of you guys have been like reaching out and saying congrats on buying a new house. Um, our budget's gonna change a little bit for the new house, not dramatically because honestly our mortgage payment's just a little bit more and all of our utilities should stay about the same. But um, it's gonna be a little different. So definitely keep an eye out for some of those budget videos. But I have been talking for eight minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see some stuff in this video. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions related to the new house. At some point, I may show you guys bits and pieces of the house. But right now, like it's nowhere near like me wanting to show people. I just feel like there's so much potential and I want to make it look really cute before I do that. So anyway, just kind of bear with me there.
printers going, cutting machines going, but I wanted to show you guys. So I just prepped orders for today and probably Monday, depending on how things go. But I wanted to show you guys how many custom scripts that I have to do. <laughs> um, so quite a bit. I have them all divided by the different types of scripts, but yeah, it's gonna take me quite a while. The issue that I've realized with the custom scripts, and let me turn you guys around so I can talk to you. So there's a lot there, and I feel like custom scripts have really ramped up. I think it partially has to do with the fact that I gave a discount for um, everything in the shop that went along with the June mystery kit, so that's awesome. I knew that like that would potentially bring in some more orders with custom scripts. The issue that I'm having is although the machine is amazing and it cuts perfectly fine, it takes forever for the custom scripts to print from like the software to the printer. So what I've been doing is I've been doing them at night and that way like as I'm watching TV and doing whatever, I can just go ahead and like do them, wait while it's like processing and then just do the next one. It does take quite a while to do them at night and so sometimes it gets really late and I'm working on them. That's not really the problem. The problem is I've realized that like during the summertime, my printers don't act great. I think it's the humidity, all of that. And I've been working on things to try and navigate that. Like I have two dehumidifiers in the office. I try and keep the office fairly chilly. All the things to try and make the printers act better during the summer. But recently I've been having some issues where like I'll prep a bunch of them at night and I'll print them and everything like that so they're all ready to go but then the printer messes up. For example, the first printer that I have for some reason was doing like these black streaks and I've never had that happen before. I changed the ink, I did all these things to clean it, still having that issue. So all of the, all of the custom scripts that I had on that printer, I had to move. So that just takes a lot of time. So again, I'm not complaining in any sense. I'm just kind of explaining the process. So part of me is like tempted to design these at night and do what I've been doing, but then I'm like, well, what if I do all of that and then I get to the point where like one of the printers start messing up? So then I'm like, well, do I do it during the day? That takes a lot of time out of my day. I feel like it's kind of wasted time because I have to just sit here waiting for it to, you know, keep going. So I have to figure out a good system for that. But I wanna thank you guys all for placing custom orders. I've been loving filling the orders with custom scripts, seeing what you guys choose. It gives me ideas. I feel like it gives other people ideas as well. And the machine has been amazing. I feel like it has been awesome, like very consistent. I know how to like do everything with it. So it's been great. I love seeing those perfect cuts come through. So keep placing your orders. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to deal with custom scripts. And I think going forward, when Jason starts working with me, I think Jason's going to take over custom scripts because it really doesn't take a lot of like designing for it. It's kind of basic. Um, but that is something that like we're gonna figure out when he gets over um, and working with me. But yeah, that is a little update there. I also called ABT, I think that's what it's called. And they need a serial number. <laughs> which Jason just went to t take Macy to camp. So I'm gonna wait for that. I'm really hoping they can come and fix it like very soon. Cause like we have a bunch of stuff in the freezer and in the fridge and I don't want it to go to waste and we're gonna be gone this weekend. So it's just kind of a mess. You would never expect like in a house that has brand new appliances that something would go wrong, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to getting things cut and printed and all of that, but I just wanted to pop in and show you guys these customs because my goodness, there's a lot. The thing is, there's like two very big orders with lots of custom scripts. So that definitely takes up the majority of it because most people only have like one or two, um, but yeah, there's one that has like a ton. So I'm gonna be busy working on custom scripts, that's for sure.
right guys, so I wanted to pop in and give you guys a little update. It is now um, 11.15 and I pretty much have all of the budget kits cut. I am currently having the complete kit cut on the graph tech, so um, those will go very quickly. The more I was thinking about it today, the more I just kept thinking like I should probably just work on the custom scripts as the graph tech is cutting um, kit 107 like for the weekly kit and all of that just because of how many there are and the issues that I've been having with the printers. I was thinking that like I may instead of doing the custom scripts I may just like wait do it over the long weekend and fill orders but most of the orders are fairly new. Um, yeah, they're all fairly new except for like the couple of ones that have a lot of custom scripts. So I figure what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, I'm going to keep printing stuff and cutting stuff for the graph tech um, because I want to keep going with September's release. The nice thing is I need to cut a bunch of the sampler for 107. So once the graph tech is all done, I could just print the um, sampler from every single printer and just have that going for a while. That'll take quite a while. And then I also always like to start off by doing the full boxes and the washi, which again, I usually bulk up those because those are popular. So I'll do those. But I think in the meantime, I'm going to work on custom scripts just so that I can get a handle on them. And so I don't have to worry about printer issues because that's my biggest concern. I don't want to spend all this time designing them and printing them out mostly just printing them because that takes the longest time for like the printer to mess up and then have to like redo it all over again. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through as I'm kind of feeding things into the other graph tech, just print these out. I don't necessarily have to cut them right now. I think I'm just going to um, work on like designing them and printing them and then I'll kind of figure out when I want to go ahead and cut them because cutting them doesn't take that long but you can't cut stuff while you have stuff printing it just doesn't work in the software so it's a little complicated but again I think that's just my plan I did call a BT I, I hope I'm saying it right because otherwise I'm going to be saying the same thing wrong all over this video but um, they are going to be in contact with Jason. They are hoping that they can get a tech to come out today. If not, it's going to be on Tuesday. And they also gave me the option that they could call Jason and kind of walk him through some troubleshooting. So we'll kind of see what happens. The thing is, all of the food in the fridge and the freezer is ruined, which really stinks because Jason just went yesterday to his parents' house to get all of our frozen stuff. And we had a lot because when my sister moved, she was like, oh, here's a bunch of food that we had in the freezer that we can't transport. So we had boxes of chicken nuggets. We had tons of steaks. <laughs> we had a lot of really expensive food in the freezer. It's not really the refrigerator because we honestly haven't done a ton of meal planning and stuff like that, but we had a lot of food in the fridge or in the freezer probably hundreds of dollars worth and overnight like we checked it it looked like the freezer was working we thought it was just the refrigerator and overnight everything defrosted so there's nothing that we can do so it's a really big bummer especially because the fridge is only two months old so it makes no sense why that would even happen but we will see we'll see how it goes luckily I guess it, it sinks to waste food, especially with how expensive things are right now. But luckily, we didn't buy the food, so it doesn't feel like as big of a punch. But it's still wasted, and it's such a bummer, because I wish we would have known. We do have a deep freezer that we haven't had hooked up since we moved. And so we could have put everything in that if we knew. But we didn't. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to keep going with all of these custom scripts. I honestly think this is probably the best bet, just so that you know, I can get a bunch of it out. I also don't want to focus my entire like vacation for 4th of July on custom scripts. So I think this will be good. But yeah, that is the game plan. I'm going to have to order some lunch to get delivered because I don't want to leave the office today. And everything that we had in the freezer and fridge is not good. So guys, I swear it's always something like I remember thinking, oh, when we move in this house, it's so nice because like everything is done. Like 
plumbing, done. Electrical, done. We have all new appliances, that's great. But then of course there's always something. I feel like that's just like story of your life if you own a house. You know that like there's always something that happens and that you have to fix and that's why having an emergency fund and things like that is really important. But the nice thing is for us, like it's under warranty because it's brand new. So we have quite some while, quite some time that like if anything goes wrong, we should be good there. So I'm going to pay attention to my computer and just get, get this going. I'll probably turn on like a show or something like just for background noise while I'm working just to hopefully pass the time and not, you know, make me so crazy. I, I don't mind doing custom scripts. It's just, it takes a while for it to, to go and it's kind of frustrating how long it takes. I don't know if that has to do with my computer or if it's just the software in general, but it's kind of frustrating sitting here knowing that like, you know, it's just taking time to do it. The other thing that I've noticed is I can design other stuff. Like the nice thing is I can go ahead and design in like Adobe um, or if I'm doing anything in silhouette, I can do that stuff in silhouette without having any issues, which is really nice because at least I can do something else. So I can, while I'm designing like the custom scripts, I can also be designing other, um, other like new monthly stuff. So like 107, I can start designing the washi and the full boxes and stuff like that as I'm going. So that's one upside. I try, like if I'm going to be like sitting here, I try and do other stuff. So again, I have stuff going on the other graph tech. I'll like record transactions. Like I'll just try and do other stuff while I'm sitting here so that I'm not just like sitting. But yeah, it does take some time. So I'm just gonna be going through and creating these custom scripts and hopefully I get a good handle on them. I think, so it's like almost 11.30 right now. I have until about 3.30, that's when I wanna leave. And so that gives me a nice chunk of time where I can get these done. So hopefully I get the majority of them done and then the rest of the weekend I can kind of focus on just having fun with the family. And then if I have any free time, I can like do little things like design or edit a video or whatever, but not like these things just take so long and I feel like I have to pay attention right now because I really don't want to have to redo them. That would really, really, really stink. So yeah, anyway, that is a little update from me. I'm gonna keep going with this and hopefully get a bunch of these done. But yeah, that is what I will be working on for the rest of today. To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like Alright guys, so little update It is now 3.06 And I'm just kind of finishing Some stuff up at the office I am currently still working on Custom scripts and I still have Sampler 107 going on the Graph Tech I'm almost done. Um, the one batch of samplers that are currently on the Graph Tech is the last of them. I'm not gonna do any more of Sampler 107. So I think once that is done, I'll be done cutting on the Graph Tech today. I'll finish back up on Tuesday. But I wanted to show you guys the stack of custom scripts. Um, yeah, there have been a lot. So I still have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more custom eight more custom scripts I don't know if I'm gonna finish by the time that I want to leave I want to leave in about 20 minutes so we'll see it takes again takes a while for the printer or like the software to print but yeah this is a lot so what I've been doing is like I mentioned before I have stuff cutting on the graph tech and I really needed to get all of these customs done. So you can see I have been highlighting them as I've been going. So I've been doing little things. I needed to like update our address. I needed to pay some bills. I have a bunch of little things that I needed to do, but I'm my main focus has been cutting 107 on the other graph tech and then 
getting these designed, which will be really nice because I think the game plan for this weekend is I will edit this video tonight and hopefully just get it uploaded over the night, overnight. And then for the rest of the weekend, the only thing that I really am gonna have to do is just design for 107 so that on Tuesday when I come in, I have stuff ready to go, which will make this weekend so much more relaxing <laughs> than having to try and do these customs and then worry about the fact that, you know, something may happen with the printer. I've been printing these all on the same printer. I've had no issues. There's been a couple times where like the paper got stuck, but that's kind of expected during the summertime but I haven't had any, any other issues. So I feel like this printer may be a good one to like print to from home. But again, I just really wanted to make sure with these customs that I was not going to have to redo them because it's such a pain in the butt having to do that. So yeah, anyway, that's how today has been going. It's not really how I intended today to go, but I'm really happy with how much I've gotten accomplished. I feel really good about the customs now. I feel like on Tuesday when I get back into the office, I can just like start printing stuff for the other graph tech. I can work on customs and then in between like switching out the machines and stuff, I can fill orders that are open. So I feel really good about it. Um, a little update on stuff at home. We have not gotten a call from the ABT people. So it's not looking like anyone's gonna come out today, which I kind of expected. So most likely someone will come out on Tuesday, but I mean, our food is already, like there's nothing that we can do to salvage it. So I guess it really doesn't matter if they come today or Tuesday, like we're leaving tomorrow anyway. So it's really not that big of a deal, but yeah, kind of a bummer. Luckily there are warranties, so that's good. But yeah, anyway, that is what I've been working on and what I'm gonna continue working on. Like I mentioned, I think I'm just gonna wrap up this video here. Hopefully you guys got to see more than just me talking, but today is kind of like a weird day where I was doing different types of things and there's only so much that I can show you in terms of like, here's me designing custom scripts. Like it's kind of the same thing all the time. So my computer just stopped. I'm gonna go ahead and start printing another one but i just wanted to close today's video thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and i will see you guys next time bye guys the sun.